Have you ever had a friend or family member that was caught in a relationship that was so bad and no matter what you told them and how logical it was, they couldn't see what you see. The veil was over their eyes and any advice didn't matter. I think this is important when we look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7, where Paul is writing to this church and he says to them so clearly, and it's a verse that we use so often in, in church and Christianity, and it's for the Lord is spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. We talk about this verse in such a way that we have license to do what we want because we are free in Christ. But here we see that the Apostle Paul's writing to this church who's caught in a really bad relationship with the Old Testament, with these laws and these rules, and they just can't get out of it. They've been beaten up. And Paul is saying that there is freedom when you are placing your trust in Jesus and where the Spirit of the Lord is, when he fills you with the Holy Spirit, there is freedom to have the veil removed and look at scripture to see Jesus from Genesis all the way to the end. And not just a word for this church, I think it's a word for us today that when we place our trust in Jesus and are filled with the Holy Spirit from Genesis to Revelation, we can experience the freedom of Jesus all over the place. Freedom to love, freedom to forgive, freedom to get back up when we fail and freedom to take one step after the other to allow our lives to be conformed into the image of Christ for the sake of others. What kind of freedom do you have as you read scripture? Would you pray that the Holy Spirit fills you to overflowing and opens your eyes to see Jesus from cover to cover as we continue to read?